So this Sunday is Mother's Day. Mothers deserve a good massage, especially now because of the lockdown, don't you think? Hi everyone, I am Yasuko and it's time for Massage Monday. First of all, thank you again to those who filled out the survey. And sorry about the duplicate email I sent. There were some surprising results that I wasn't expecting, but I thoroughly enjoyed reading the answers from each one of you, so thank you. So this Sunday is Mother's Day. Mothers deserve a good massage, especially now because of the lockdown, don't you think? I know many mothers had to become teachers all of a sudden because of the school closures, while they still had to do all the house chores such as cleaning, cooking, and laundering constantly because all the family members were stuck at home. And I bet she cannot get her well-deserved massage yet because spas are closed. And who knows when they're allowed to reopen because unfortunately, massage is considered a higher risk business because of the person-to-person -person contact. But not to worry because I am here for rescue. This week, I will show you a shoulder massage to give to your mother. And when I say mother, it can be your partner or your mother. As you will see, this is very simple and easy and it feels amazing. And it doesn't hurt your fingers. Even your kids can do it. Why not make this one of your quarantine Mother's Day gifts? Don't do this if you're pregnant because we will be pressing the acupressure points on the top of the shoulders that would induce labor. Have the receiver sit on the floor in front of the couch. Make it comfy with a cushion. And give her sit behind the receiver on the couch. First, let's connect. Give her put both hands on the receiver and match the breathing. Take three deep breaths together. This helps you to connect and calm down together. As you do this, think of at least one thing you love or appreciate about the person you are touching. Touch is a very powerful communication tool and your thoughts and feelings can transfer through touch. Always have happy thoughts about the person you are touching. If you can't think of anything that you love or appreciate about your partner, you may need a different kind of therapy besides massage therapy. Stand behind your partner sitting in front of you. Pick three locations between the base of the neck and the shoulder bone. Take a breath together and as you both exhale, press each location on both sides with the base of your palms. Move to the next as you inhale together and press as you both exhale. Move to the last point and repeat. Check in with your partner for pressure and adjust according to the pain scale. Make sure you are pressing the muscle and not pressing the shoulder bone. Make three trips. Use your body weight by relaxing your hands. Keep your arms straight but no locked elbow. Instead of rounding the back, keep your back straight to save your back. Here's a variation. You can alternate sides as you press walk your palm. Do not lift your hands completely. Keep your hands on your partner's shoulders at all time for a better balance and the energy connection. You are using the heel of the palm, but don't cock your wrist because when you bend your wrist, you're using the forearm muscles. And when you intentionally bend it, your forearm will get tired. So relax your wrist and just lean in with your body weight. Breathing together is a nice way to connect. And when you exhale, your body relaxes. So pressing as you both exhale is a nice way to connect and relax. But you don't have to do it all the time. You don't have to be adamant about it. In general, if you go slower, it feels deeper and more sincere to the receiver. Sometimes the giver starts going really fast and that's not very relaxing. Use the breathing as a mean to reconnect and calm down together during the session. To all the mothers in the world, I don't know how you do it. Show this to your partner and all your kids who can do this. And I hope you get a nice shoulder massage that you so deserve. And I'm going to make it a seven day challenge, so it's more fun. I timed the three trips on three locations, pressing both sides at the same time, and another three trips on three locations, alternating sides. And it took about a minute and 20 seconds. So with connecting, let's say a minute and a half, so 90 seconds, that's it. None of those thumb circles or finger killers. So your fingers won't hurt and you will last. 
If you're stuck at home, you have no excuse not to do this for your partner or mother to show your love and appreciation in a new way. So the challenge is to do this every day for your mother until Mother's Day and on Mother's Day. If you dare to accept the challenge, please let me know in the comment below. This is one of the shoulder massage that I teach my clients and they love doing this because it's so easy. And this is kind of the massage that I teach, short and sweet, nothing complicated. And if you want to learn more, you can get the free massage guide from the link below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back next week. Make it a great week. Feel free to comment below and please don't forget to subscribe. And click on the bell so you'll be notified when my videos up and out. Happy Mother's Day.